Today we're going to learn about the first law of reflection, which states that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. We're also going to learn how to draw rays of reflection in a plane mirror. Now, when you look at a ray diagram, you start with a plane mirror. That is just a flat mirror that has no curves. The radiation or sunlight or light energy is coming into the mirror, and that is called the incident ray. When it hits the mirror, it bounces back out, and that is called the reflected ray. Now, the normal is a line that splits down and hits the mirror at 90 degrees. So the incident ray comes in, the normal is hitting the mirror at 90 degrees, and then the light energy is bounced back out, and that's called a reflected ray. The angle of incidence is in between the normal and the incident ray. The angle of reflection is in between the normal and the reflected ray. These two are always the same number. They're the same value. So if this is 20 degrees, the angle of reflection is 20 degrees. If the reflected ray is 80 degrees, the angle of incidence is 80 degrees. Okay, so to draw a ray diagram, what we're gonna do is first step, you have to identify, is the line that's hitting the mirror an incident ray or a reflected ray. And to do that, you look at which way is the arrow pointing. Well, the arrow here is pointing into the mirror, so that means we have the incident ray. Second step is to draw your normal. So you need your protractor. You take your protractor, you make sure it's lined up. It has to be very, very straight and it has to go right at this point where the incident ray or reflected ray is hitting the mirror. So you go here and you want to line it up and then measure it 90 degrees, make a little ticking boo thing. And then you line it up and draw little dashed lines. And that is your normal. In step three, we have to measure the angle of incidence. So we again have to use our protractor and we line it up so it's lined up with the normal and then we're going to count. Well, 10, 20, 30, 40, there's 50 degrees here. So our angle of incidence is 50 degrees. So on the other side, we're going to count the same thing. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So this has to be 50 degrees also. Our next step is to mark that angle of reflection, and then we're going to draw the line for our reflected ray. It's a solid line coming out from the mirror, and we draw the arrow going out. Last thing is you just want to mark your angle. So we're going to put a little thing here, 50 degrees, draw another one here, 50 degrees, and then we are done.